when judging for what for, you'll either be judging what for part A, or you'll be judging what for part B. Both will have separate small sheets. Let's have a look at, it, at what you do when you're judging uh, what for part A. First rep, or the first movement will be clean and jerks. And what you'll do is you will just count the reps of clean and jerks. It's 20 reps, so the first athlete jumps up. That's one rep. That's two reps when they've completed their 20 reps. That athlete then moves on to part B, and then the second athlete will step forward and do their movement. Once that athlete's moved on, you don't need to worry about them anymore. Second athlete steps up to the bar. They'll do sumo deadly tie pulls. That's one. That's two. They go all the way to 30 reps for the sumo deadly tie pulls. That athlete moves on to part B. You don't worry about them anymore. Next athlete steps up and they do snatches. So power snatches. Count their reps. That's one. That's two. So on until they've got to 30. That athlete moves forward. Next athlete steps up and does shoulder to overhead. That's one, that's two, they do 20 reps of that. Once all the athletes are done, so the final athlete has finished, finished their last rep of shoulder to overhead, then you take down the time. That's the time for WOD4 part A for that team. You'll then make sure that the weights are back the way that they started. So 50 kilos on the bar for the guys and 35 kilos on the bar for the girls bar. Each team will have two bars, one for the guys, one for the girls. And then you wait until part B is done and you'll hand your score sheet in with the uh, judge for part B. At the start of WOD4 part A, you'll need to ask your team if they're scaling. If they are scaling, then you tick the box at the top of the score sheet that says scale. If they do scale any part of WOD4 part A, then they'll be ranked below any other team that went RSD for part A and rank below any other team on part B as well that went RXD. So the scaling for the clean and jerk is a ball slam. For this, you just count 20 reps. There's no requirement to catch. That's one, that's two, that's three, so on until they've done 20. The scaling for the next movement, sumo deadly typles, is a kettlebell sumo deadly typle. Again, each rep counts. One, two, three, so on until they've gone to 30. And then the next scaling option is dumbbell snatch or the power snatch. That's one, there's no requirement to alternate arms. That's two, so on until they've done 30 reps. And then you can scale, the next scaling for the shoulder to overhead is dumbbell shoulder to overhead. That's one rep, that's two reps until they've done 20. Then you write down their time, make sure you've ticked scaled at the top. When you're judging for WOD4 Part B, you will stay with the prowler for the entire workout. At the start of the workout, you'll just be standing by the prowler. There'll be no athletes at the prowler yet. They'll still be on Part A. Once the first athlete comes over to the prowler, then they start pushing and you follow the prowler. So they'll push the 15 meters, get the prowler completely over the line at the end of the 15. That is one rep. You write down one rep and they push back completely over the line. That's two reps. And let's say this is the seventh rep. The arm pushes all the way over the line. That's seven reps. Then they'll add a five kilo plate. And they'll continue on into the 15 meter section, which is further up the super court. And then once they finish seven reps of that, they'll put on a 10 kilo plate. Each time an athlete finishes their movement on part A, then they'll come over to part B. And athletes can alternate pushing the prowler however they like. The only rules around that is that they can only swap once they are at one end of the track. So they cannot swap halfway through a 15 meter track. If someone gets stuck, then they, an athlete is allowed to run out, push the prowler back to where they started, and then push the prowler from there. When the 10 minute time cap is up for WOD 4, then the score for WOD 4 Part B is total number of reps, which is total number of prowler laps that they did. Uh, when that's done, get the team to sign it, hand it to a head judge with the score sheet, from WOD 4 Part A.